Good afternoon. I'm Debbie, and we're keeping it simple with Testa's Pantry. You know, it's the opening day of the track, and I'm not there. But that's okay. I'll get there before the season is over. If you have any requests for any dishes, just let me know. Sarah's the only one who's contacted me and said, could you make this? That was that farro uh, and wheat berry salad, which was outstanding. So if you have any ideas, just reach out. Message me, or you can email me, too. Debbie at TestisPantry.com. Anyways, today we are making we are making mango salsa, which is a, just a little bit different, something that I'm not used to doing, and uh, but that's okay. I thought it would be fun. It's a, a good weekend for it, and I'm going to use it with our grilled pork tenderloin that I'm cooking tonight. So the the longest part of this whole process is cutting up all the ingredients because you want to have everything uniform size and they should be diced somewhere in between diced and minced you don't want to have anything too too large now the jalapeno that i'm doing right now i'm mincing that because it needs to be small we don't want to get a big chunk of jalapeno and when you see the jalapeno don't touch your eyes afterwards like i usually do because it burns. <laughs> it really does. I've done that so many times. What a disaster. So anyways, the mango that I that inspired me to make this in my fruit bowl just kind of went for a quick demise. So I, I decided not to use that and went and got a new one. The new one, however, is not as ripe as you would like. It doesn't have that gorgeous golden color. See, the color is a little bit more um, not ripe. It's fine. It's It was soft enough, but what I'm going to have to do is adjust the ingredients. So instead of using our Condimento Bianco, which I was intending to use, I'm going to use the Condimento Bianco Denso because that's going to get give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay, so I'm putting my mango in a bowl. There's the mango. Now I'm putting in, I diced up about a third of a red pepper, red bell pepper, and I diced up a stalk of celery. So there's the celery. And I diced up a little too much red onion. I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup of red onion for that. I didn't want to put too much in. We're not using garlic. And then there's my half of a jalapeno that I minced. So we're putting that all together there. And then I'm going to zest in a little bit of lime. I thought that would give it some brightness and give it a nice flavor. So we'll do that. And then I have some fresh oregano from, from the garden. So we're going to dice up a little bit of that and put in too. The, another herb that you could use, which would be lovely, would be cilantro that I don't have. So we're not using cilantro, we're using some oregano. Oregano has, is bright and it's not a real heavy or um, earthy herb. So we're gonna take our, our oregano and we're just gonna pull the leaves off and, and just I can't shiffer these because they're not big enough leaves, so we'll just chop them up just a little bit and get a little bit of extra herb flavor in there. And then we're gonna we're ready to toss it up and add the and add the balsamic. So I'm excited about this. I think it'll be fun. It's a nice summer, fresh, bright addition to any to any any meal. Well, I'd say fish or 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 pork or chicken. So this is what it looks like without the addition. See, it's all colors. Pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty. All right, so I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of our Condimento Bianco Denso. This has been aged for about five years. It was aged for a year in Slovenian oak to give it some roundness, and then it's transferred to stainless to maintain the integrity of the color because it's a nice golden color. So I'm using, that's about three tablespoons in there. Let's give it a toss. And we're not going to use too much salt, just a touch of salt. 
So I'll put a grind in there or two, and then we'll give it a taste and see what it needs. Okay, that's always the fun part, is tasting. Now, if the mango had been super ripe, I would have used our condimento Bianco, which is a simple white, um, but I, I think that we need to sweeten it just a little bit. And this, the Denso does a great job of that. So let's get my spoon and we'll give this a little taste and see what it needs. I think it's really well balanced. I really like it. So I'm not going to change a thing. I'm just leaving it like it is. Give it a shot. And I'm sure you, you will enjoy it. Once it sits for a little while, you won't choke on it. <laughs> it needs to soften a little bit in the, in the vinegar. Just keep stirring it. And let it sit at room temperature for about a half hour. And then it'll be good to go. On a side note that has nothing to do with cooking, Leah Michelle is now going to be the new Fanny Bryce on Broadway. Congratulations, girl. It's been a long time coming. We'll see you soon.